Welcome to Avion Offshore Living. The facility is situated in the Niger Delta area of southern Nigeria. It's been registered in 2001 in line with the Company and Aligned Matters Act 1990 and popularly known as AOL, which was formerly known as Grenaka LTA Construction. AOL head office is situated in Lagos State, number 50C, Grover Road, Ikoi, Lagos. The facility complies of a 30 by 120 meter long jetty, a 90 meter long coin side, a 50,000 meter square open fabrication area, six office buildings, stores, warehouse, a clinic, residential camp, and recreational facilities. The facility borders the Nigerian Naval Base, NNS Pathfinder. Avion Offshore Limited is Nigerian content compliant and is currently owned by a consortium of Nigerian investors and are involved in a wide spectrum of activities in the construction field like fabrication and installation of plant and equipment for onshore and offshore oil and gas exploration and production. The management system is certified to international standard, namely the ISO 9001. 2008 and performs her operations to international best practices, code standards and specifications as ASME, ANSII, BS, AWS, NAPC, and API standards. Policy. In line with best practice and top management's commitment, the facility has several policies, some of which include safety and health, quality, environment, alcohol and drug, phone and camera, security, community affairs, smoky, business conduct, Nigerian content, human resource, recruitment and training. Each policy is endorsed by our top management and demonstrates our commitment to complying with all applicable legal and other requirements and ensuring employee well-being, provision of safe system of work and workplace, Quality, thus management is very focused on loss incident prevention initiatives. And this is demonstrated by management in various ways as involvement in the HSC management system implementation at all levels of operation and administration. Health and safety policy. The AOL HSC policy is endorsed by top management and demonstrates management's commitment to providing and ensuring a continued safe workplace and practice in the compliance with all applicable legal and other requirements. Alcohol and Drug Policy AOL maintains an alcohol and drug use policy. The policy prohibits the use of alcohol or working under the influence of alcohol while working for AOL or while residing in any property under the control of AOL. It also prohibits the use of hard drugs but makes provisions for use of OTC over-the-counter medications. Please note, if on over-the-counter medications, please report to your supervisor before commencing tasks. Failure to comply with this policy will lead to disciplinary action. The policy allows for persons to be screened for alcohol and drug use in the event of reasonable suspicion or an incident. It also provides for random testing and passing this test is mandatory. Failure to comply will result in disciplinary action. The scope of this policy extends to all operations and on a 24-hour basis. Smoking policy. The AOL policy prohibits smoking in non-designated areas. However, it allows for smoking in only designated areas and the location of the designated areas are indicated by the appropriate sign in various areas. Adherence to this requirement is mandatory as deviation can cause a fire in the workplace, leading to loss of equipment and vehicles. This policy applies to all persons within the facility. Employees, contractors, visitors, clients, regulators, and failure to comply with this policy will lead to disciplinary action. Environment policy. AOL is an environmental friendly company and her environment management system, EMS, model is modeled to the international standard ISO 14001, ISO 14001 and implemented via various means pertinent amongst which is our environmental management plan, EMP. 
spanning all of our contractual and relevant environmental obligations and legislation. Our policy clearly demonstrates our commitment to pollution prevention and ensures continuous improvement on our environmental performance while influencing our subcontractors and suppliers to strive towards safe and responsible environmental practices. AOL takes into consideration the environmental concerns of both the customers and clients and interested parties by communicating the policy to all personnel involved in AOL operations while implementing and reviewing the management system to ensure continuous improvement of environmental performance. Any violation of this policy will attract disciplinary measures. Training Policy AOL views training as vital in achieving its goals and has resolved to ensure provision of training and ensuring considerable high standards in the training and development of its workforce through training in line with present and future needs and legal requirements. Safety Statistics Goals and Objectives AOL places the protection of personnel environment property and reputation as top priority in its business model. The goal is to ensure that no harm is done to people, zero accidents is achieved, and no damage is done to plant or to environment. And as our HSD target is to achieve zero fatality, zero case of drug or alcohol abuse, zero lost time incidents, zero unplanned environmental discharges, and zero recordable accidents. Major operations and hazards in AOL. A hazard is anything with the potential to cause harm. And like all other operational facilities, AOL has its own share of hazards, inherent or induced, in her operations. Some of the major hazards at location include with reference to major activities and work areas include exposure to ionizing radiation from NDT activities, fall from height during fabrication, Contact with flying object from grinding, blasting, and pressurized operations. Contact with electricity while using energized tools and equipment. Contact with moving vehicle and equipment. Exposure and contact with harmful chemicals and fumes during operations. Impact with or from load during critical lifts. Exposure to excessive noise levels and vibration during fabrication. Exposure to bright welding light during fabrication. Man overboard while working or walking near jetty or quayside. Disintegration of discs during grinding and cutting operation. Risk assessments have been done to control these hazards and controls put in place to manage them. These controls range hazard elimination where possible to engineering controls through administrative controls to provisions of personal protective equipment, PPEs. For more information, see specific risk assessment. Utilization of PPEs is mandatory for all persons in the facility, irrespective of class or creed. Site safety rules and precautions. Some of the site safety rules at AOL include pedestrian walkways must be used and adhered to. Intervene when you observe an unsafe act. Do not obstruct the entrance or exit points of any car park, workshop, residential house, or offices since they have to be cleared at all times for emergency exit. Park your car properly. Make sure you put on your personal protective equipment at all times while on site. Do not operate any equipment or machine without due authorization or training. Wear full body harness and ensure 100% tie off while working at height. Stay away from suspended loads during lifting operations. Wear personal flotation device, PFD, while working at the quay side or on the barge. Wear appropriate PPEs in painting and blasting areas or stay away. Watch out for warning signs, amber light, radiation tapes, for radiation activities. Stay away from welding fumes and welding light or wear appropriate PPEs. Always inspect cutting and grinding discs before use. Do not use expired or defective discs. Ensure that they are properly stored to avoid impacting negatively on them before use. While cutting or grinding, direct the sparks away from personnel or combustible substances such as gases, paper, and diesel. There are waste bins with different color codes at work sites. Place right waste type in the right bin. The blue waste bins are for non-combustible materials, i.e. spent electrodes, spit discs, fluorescent tubes, etc. 
The combustible materials, i.e. papers, woods, chewing gums, etc., should be disposed off in a green waste bin. The biodegradable waste as food waste should be placed in the black waste bins. Do not use your mobile phones or radio near any cylinder or cylinder store, patrol tankers, flammable liquid storage areas, patrol dispensing operations, or during high-risk operations like driving, crane operations, heavy activity areas, among others. Some of the vehicle equipment has the symbol, no passenger allowed. It is strictly advised to adhere to this warning. The use of camera on site is strictly prohibited. Always ensure machine guards are in place prior to using machine and ensure they are not removed or bypassed. Obtain PTW, permit to work, where applicable. Breach of administrative controls as violation of warning signs and barricaded areas and caution tapes is not allowed. Use of safety hard hats is mandatory at work sites. Anybody within the area with a safety sign of respiratory protection must wear a respirator because of the chemicals emitted in such areas. For example, blasting and painting workshops. Emergency response. In the event of an emergency like fire on site, do not panic. Just raise an alarm to activate the system. This can be done in one of the following ways. Report to the nearest supervisor or manager. Notify the HSC manager, call channel 15. This is the number assigned to the general radio channel on site. In the event of a fire, the alarm signal will sound intermittently for 10 seconds at an interval of 2 seconds. This is to give the opportunity for persons to walk to the muster point closest to them and await further instructions. And upon activation, you are expected to walk briskly to any of the muster points nearest to you via emergency exit. There are 10 muster points mainly. Camps Muster Point 1, Administration Building Muster Point 2, Main Administration Muster Point 3, HSE Induction Center Muster Point 4, Close to Quayside Muster Point 5, Area B Muster Point 6, Area Close to Painting Cabin Muster Point 7, The Material Laid Down Muster Point 8, the Agena Workshop Muster Point 9, and the SFDP Tent Muster Point 10. Only fight a fire if you are trained to do so, and if doing so doesn't put you in harm's way. Health Emergency. In the event of a health emergency, first aiders will attend to IP, injured person. There is a dedicated ambulance on site, and it can be reached by calling channel 15. Various emergency kits are provided in different areas of the facility. This includes emergency shower symbol, stretchers, respiratory protection kits and eye wash centers, automatic external defibrillators, AEDs, and first aid boxes. Security emergency. In the instance of a civil unrest or security threat involving gunshots, the alarm signal shall sound for three seconds intermittent blasts with one second interval. It is advised that on hearing this blast, all persons should take shelter at safe places until they hear the all clear alarm signal. The all clear alarm signal is a long 30 seconds alarm with a two seconds interval. Then camp residents, clients and expatriates should assemble at muster point two at the administration building. All other staff should move to muster point 3 opposite the main administration gate and await for further instructions. Helmet color code and fabrication area. In the fabrication yard of AOL, the workforce is seen with eight different colors of helmet. The white helmet is worn by the foreman and supervisors. The blue helmet is worn by the fitters and grinders. Orange worn by helpers and labor assistants. Red helmet by safety officials. Yellow helmet by the electricians and storekeepers. Green helmet by the riggers and scaffolders. Gray by crane operators, blasters and painters. And multicolored helmets by welders and fitters. Adherence to this is mandatory. Alarms and signals at AOL. There are several alarm signals at AOL. 
Duration of alarm sign determines alarm intent. There is the daily work routine alarm signal, which is 15 second single long blast. The first long blast occurs at 0715 hours, which is a signal for the assembly or toolbox meeting. This is followed by another 15 second long blast alarm at 0725 hours, signaling the end of toolbox meeting. At noon, there is another 15 second long blast alarm, signal for one hour lunch break, and it is followed by another long blast at 1300 hours, signaling the end of lunch break and resumption of work. At 1645 hours, another long blast occurs to signal the end of the work for the day. Returning of tools and housekeeping. The last long blast for the day, which signals the close of work, is heard at 1700 hours. Thank you and welcome to Avion Offshore Limited.